What's good, y'all? DMV does it here, and today, y'all see this is my pure athletic finisher. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all what build I have the wingspan, the weight, and everything. So, my pure athletic at a 90 overall, I'm like 20% away from 91. But let's get into the new micro reel. So, some people have been asking why I went with a center instead of a point. No, not a point, I'm tripping. They was asking me why I chose a center over a power forward because the power forward have more Hall of Fame badges. I look at the Hall of Fame badge, the only, the only Hall of Fame badge they have that the centers don't have is one man fast break and I don't really care about that. I mainly made the center for the silver brick wall and the silver rim protector which the power forwards do not have. So I went with the center. So for my height, I just kept it at default. I kept it at seven foot. Cause anything over seven foot, you cannot get all the contact zones. That is my play style. Last year I had a seven foot one. I had all the contact zones. This year seven foot one, don't get them. So I'm going back to 2K17 with my seven foot. Now actually for 2K17, I had a seven foot one first and then I made a seven foot. And I just been rocking with that. So for the weight, I went with 275. Like basically, I ended up creating my 2K17 build all over again. I went with 275 for my weight because I didn't want to be too sluggish. I didn't want to be too too slow or too, you know. I gotta keep up. I don't want to be too skinny end up getting bullied with bullied by glass cleaners and all that you know I got max wingspan max I know that hurts your mid range and all that but look what is your archetype supposed to do you are an athletic finisher I don't need to shoot of course it with a good release you could you'll go ahead and shoot then the mid range gonna cap out at what uh, what, what the mid range at? Open shot mid range. Nigga, help me out. Shit, where this shit at? Oh, 58. What's the big difference? But it's what it's whatever though. I really don't take no shots. But if I have to, I, I take it. I make it, miss it. I, it don't really matter. Just get the rebound and go back up with it. But this is my build. Seven foot center, pure athletic finisher, 275 max wingspan. That is my build. So I'm gonna show y'all my animations. Right now I got Paul George equipped, but I made the stretch big. And I've been using, not Kevin Durant, move nigga, you fucking snake. Oh, um, I've been using Kevin Love and that shit. <laughs> it works for me on my stretch. So I use, this crossover is so damn deadly, bro. It, this is the fastest crossover for a center. I'm telling y'all, it's the same crossover I had last year. This behind the back, this behind the back is just fire. This the same one. So spins, I use I use this spin. Wait, where is it? Right there. I use that spin and I and I spin off my own person that's guarding me, and I always get an open open lane to the damn basket. Just, I don't know. So really much, I don't really do too much of this, but what, what is the one thing I do do? <laughs> do do. Um, where is it? No, it's a triple threat. No, nope, not that. This right here. I do this and then I go, bruh. This triple threat size up. Dude don't know what you about to do. Cause once you finish the animation, you just flick the ball to the other hand, go that way, do it behind the back, got him lost. And that's a clear dunk every single time. This has worked for me every single time. I wish I had clips of me doing it, but just trust me. 
So these are my these dumb package. I I, I showed y'all this one time, but the only thing I got different is the side clutches because this just it just never get blocked. If y'all remember who Adam was, he had these last year on 2K18, and it just never got blocked at all. So I just went ahead and got it too, and I don't get blocked with it. The rest of them, I really don't get blocked with those, but mainly these two, I got these for under under the basket, and I got the LX flushes under the basket twice, because I mainly want to do that one, because that's the fastest under basket dunks you could do. Dunks and layers, of course, I got all the alley-oops, all the contact dunks, no flashy, none, none of that. Pre-game, chill, so what is this? Oh, oh. <laughs> y'all don't, don't need to see all that. But, basically, y'all got my build now. Y'all see, y'all see my animations. It's up to you if you want to go ahead and use them or not. I don't know if... If all, I don't know if all of my animations gonna stay the same, but I know for a fact my crossover and my behind the back and this triple threat size up will never change. Never. I'll play around with some other stuff, but those main three will never change. And my don'ts will never change. Badge tutorials for pure athletic finishes are. Hey, you don't gotta be a pure athletic finisher, but if it help you, it help you. I'm gonna be doing the whole list. Of all the badges that us athletic finishers get, y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to remember, don't stop, keep grinding. Out.